Southwest is currently in legal battles with two search engines. After the low-cost giant sued Kiwi.com in January, the company Skiplagged filed a preemptory case against the airline to make its case. Southwest is unique in that it does not advertise its fares on engines like Google Flights or Expedia, instead it almost solely uses its own website for bookings. Everyone familiar with Southwest Airlines knows one reality about the airline. There's almost only one place to buy tickets – southwest.com. The carrier has made it clear that it would like to control the customer booking experience and ensure that it's not paying fees to any external service providers, saving millions each year. However, there are some websites that sell Southwest tickets, even without explicit authorization. In January, the airline sued Kiwi.com, a Czech-based airline aggregator and booking site, stating that it violated Southwest's terms and conditions by selling tickets without written permission. Both sides have argued their case in court and in public statements. According to Business Insider, Southwest said this in its original complaint. Kiwi knowingly and intentionally targets the Southwest website to harvest Southwest's fare and pricing information for its own commercial benefit and without Southwest's authorization. Responding to the claim, a Kiwi.com spokesperson said, Southwest makes its flight and fare data publicly available to the entire internet, and it cannot legitimately prevent fair competition and price comparisons through enforcement of its browse wrap terms of use, to which Kiwi.com never agreed in any event. Sensing possible jeopardy if Kiwi.com lost the case, travel website Skiplagged launched its own legal challenge. The website filed a pre-entry challenge against Southwest in New York, hoping that the judge will rule that Skiplagged does not violate the airline's booking policies. Notably, Skiplagged makes a different argument from Kiwi. Instead of advocating for open access to fares, the booking engine says in its complaint, Skiplagged does not access southwest.com or use the Southwest API to obtain data published on skiplagged.com and is not bound by the Southwest terms and conditions. The decision to file a case comes after a series of letters between Southwest and the booking website earlier in the year. The airline reportedly also said that Skiplagged was inducing Kiwi.com to breach Southwest's website by offering links to its own site. Interestingly, Skiplagged did not say where it gets its fair information from. This is unique since Southwest is strict in who can sell its tickets, with web scraping being the most used tool for data. The outcome of both cases will be important for Southwest. Were it to lose the Kiwi.com challenge, it would open the floodgates to aggregators around the world to list its flights and sell tickets. A victory would ensure that it can continue operating smoothly and act as a warning to other sites that may try Kiwi.com's tactics. The Skiplagged case holds other ramifications. Considering Skiplagged won a popular case against United in 2014, all eyes will be on the site to see if it can beat Southwest, too. Moreover, the case might reveal where the site gets its fair data, allowing others to follow suit. However, for now, keep an eye out on these two developing legal cases. What do you think about Southwest's website-only booking policy? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.